How's the sweatshirt look? Great. You could see it? Yeah. Yeah? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. It's new. You can get it at rickglassman.com. I don't know. Maybe I'll tell them. Maybe I won't. I probably will. Glassman boppers. Glassman boppers. Sounds good. It's the 6th. You still wish people a happy new year on the 6th? I think you do, right? The first week? You say happy new year? First month? No, you don't do it all in January. Happy New Year, Glassman Boppers. And if you still wish people a happy new year on the 6th of January, let me know in the comments by wishing me a happy new year. And if you don't, let me know in the comments when the cutoff day is. Okay, I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I don't worry that they're going to see how hot I am. I'm just hot. My behavior is hot behavior. I'm best with cold. My behavior is best cold. Any podcast you've seen of mine, if you liked me a lot, chances are I was cold. So the introductions, as a lot of you know, have not been my favorite thing to do. It feels like something I, I have to do because, I, I don't know, I just feel like I have to. But this is one that I need to do. This episode, I almost didn't post because I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by it. Adam Ray, very funny. You may have seen him on the Adam Ray episode of my podcast. And I decided to get real, real high. The first time he was on, I wanted to ask him, we have a, a, a long history together and we didn't get through any of it. I felt like, Adam, I want to talk to you. I asked my, my, my goblins what they all thought and the comments were almost unanimously more bits, more bits. So I thought, all right, you want more bits? Let's do a bit episode. I was pretty high before Adam got here. And then we smoked some more, and I got, I got, I just got too stoned, and I, I'm embarrassed by it. So I had George give it a look, and he said he thought it was hysterical. Now George doesn't have what I have, which is growing up being the annoying guy. I don't want to sell this as a bad episode. The truth be told, I, I, I only watched ten minutes of this. I, 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 I'm out. I can't do it. George came over last night. He said, "Listen, Rick, good thing you're not the audience." Because I thought it was hysterical. And I said, George, Bubby, I am the audience. Because I'm just like you. And if you want to be just like me, why don't you hop on over to rickglassman.com and pick up one of these sweet-ass new goblin sweatshirts available in pink and light blue. That was an organic push, right? Should I give him a promo code or no? Yeah? All right. Here's the deal. Go to rickglassman.com. You want to get yourself a hoodie. Use the promo code. It's not a hoodie. Oh, right. It's not a hoodie. It's a sweatshirt. Promo code boobs. If you don't know how to spell that, you're not going to be wearing a sweatshirt because some people spell it B-O-O-O-B-S. Ghosts. A ghost A ghost tit is called a boob. These are for human boobs. So use promo code B-O-O-B-S. Get yourself a little discount on one of these goblin sweatshirts. Now, goblins, I would like your honest opinion on this episode because this episode is like a part of me that is still a part of me the way I'm behaving, but it's like, it's a part of me that I'm like, I'm, I've worked hard to not be anymore, or at least not be for a full hour. I don't know if I need to say all this. I don't know how this is edited, this one. I couldn't watch it. I couldn't go over it. With the exception of one of the spoken word parts, which is a straight fire, I didn't touch it. Oh, what are you trying to get a little action? I would be remiss or remiss, depending on what I'm supposed to say. I don't know. I really don't know that word that well. I've used it. I've heard it. I get it, but I don't know which one it is. If I didn't acknowledge the uh, the holiday special that I did, the Eight Nights of Tyso. So a huge shout out and thank you to Brent Morin, Jackie Tone, Eric Griffin, Esther Bravitsky, John Rutnitsky, Lamorne Morris, Larry Charles, and John DeWalt. I also uh, thank you, George, Perry Grown, and new Tyso friend, Pepe, for helping me with the editing, which it it was for a week and a half, all I was doing was editing. My girlfriend came over on the 23rd of December, and for almost a week, I'm just in front of my computer. So thank you, Betty, for letting me edit. Casey and Jacob came over, and uh, uh, the three of us, we, we did a live performance of the theme song, and then at the end, we did a, uh, a, a New Year's old Lang song, sang song. Is that sounding racist? racist? It sounded like I'm sounding racist, what I just did, right? And a lot of my footage was corrupt. I texted a friend of mine, John Stern, at Abominable Pictures. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm giving a speech. There's too many names. We don't need to give all the names, but I want to. They're important. These people are important to me. They help me out. He was the executive producer on my Netflix movie, Futile and Stupid Gesture. Shout out to Netflix and David Wayne. 
And he and uh, Associate Trish introduced me to Ryan O at point. 360. I still don't even really know what they do. I know they do, they're an editing house or something, whatever. And it took him like five days of working on it for free. And they just got it to me and I had the footage. So I have to say thank you to Point360. And thank you to, uh, is there anyone else I could thank I'm, while I'm spending nine minutes thanking people? I'll thank Holly for making this goblin, for being the artist of this goblin. Put up our Instagram right here. Well, who else could I thank? I've thanked enough. Could we agree that I've thanked enough? Oh, right. Right, yeah. While I'm confessing to you about things that I'm embarrassed about, I, I, I want to be, I, I know other people out there are embarrassed and, and there's a lot of shame behind being vulnerable and, and, and feeling uh, that people are seeing us in a way that we don't want to be seen. And, and I, I don't know, this is crazy, but I, I have become quite a role model to, to the world. I don't know, it's, it's, people really look up to me. So I want to let all of you socially awkward, hot guys know that this morning I woke up in a wet bed. I, I wet the bed last night. I pissed myself last night. I pissed the bed last night. This sweatshirt looks really cool with my purple sweatpants. And I really wanted to wear them for the introduction, but I can't because they're covered in piss. Also, good on me. Because when I woke up and my bed was wet, I remember when I was a kid, I used to wet my bed. I was up until like, I don't know the age, but at least 10, like later than what your people wet the bed, wet the bed, I would go in and I would wake up my mom quietly because I wouldn't want my dad to find out. I don't know why. I don't think my dad would have cared, but I was embarrassed by it. Here I am in my 30s, pissing the bed, and I woke up. My girlfriend's still asleep, and I didn't think, oh, no, what am I going to do? I woke her up, and I said, will you smell this? Is this piss? I think it's piss, and she smelt it, and what did you say? Doesn't smell bad. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell bad at all. Maybe you had a bad dream. Yeah, she thought maybe I had a bad dream. I don't know. I've had a lot of bad dreams where I didn't piss the bed. If, if this, I feel like you you want me to put this episode out there so no girls are ever attracted to me again. Girls like vulnerability? Yeah. All right. Well, then are you jealous? Because girls are about to find out that I'm annoying and I piss the bed. Oh, right. If the sweatshirt is too hot for you, both in style and temperature... Get yourself a Take Your Shoes Off t-shirt. Use promo code BOOBS. I'm Rick Glassman, and Happy New Year. Scoot doo, blabbity blue, scoop dee, oh yeah! Let's get you started smoking now. Yeah, let's do it. Good thing there's no rule with weed, you know, like with food, it's like the five second rule. I've never heard of that rule with like, I've never dropped a blunt and somebody been like, whoa, whoa, if you can't smoke it, five seconds, or like check where it's been dropped. It's like, I truly could drop it in a homeless man's mouth, him to have somebody reach in down his throat, pull it up and have him take a hit and blow that smoke into my mouth. Huh? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, so... Do I need these? The cans? I don't know. You um, always wear them, don't you? Well, if, if, if you don't need them, I think you could refer to them as the cannots. There we go. That's how you turn a can't into a can. Can do. Can do. <laughs> can do. Wasn't that like a, the beginning of a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory musical? Mm -hmm. Who can do? Can do. <laughs> Wasn't that the... In the Candyman, in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, they the were Candyman like, "Candyman can can do." Can do. Yeah, I think I might be. I thought, can do. I think you know what? This is when he decided to improvise, and Road Dahl, who wrote the book, who didn't direct it, sure. had to pull him aside and go, "Hey, um, Lars, whoever his name is, no one knows the real actor of the guy who played the Candyman." I figure Lars because he was behind a bar, and that's where you get Lars Bar. Lars Bar. Ooh, what, how about the Mars bar? Okay, deal. How about <laughs> Snickers? Who came up with Snickers? Just the name Snickers. It was Frederick von Snick. By the way, or hilarious. something like that. This is a bit, but also in my business class in high school that was taught by Mr. Moore, Vietnam War vet, happy Veterans Day. He- uh, I, Do I have to wait to post this for next Veterans Day? No. Nope. I will. No. <laughs> post it now. It's crazy what happened in this election. Boy, can you believe OJ is still on the loose? Wait a minute. Hold on. No, but I got to tell you this Mr. Moore story. Exactly. That's so, what I was going to say. Thank you. <laughs> he was so 
t tapped into the emotions and the happenings of the Vietnam War. Things like a tap on the shoulder, he flipped the fuck out. Oh, PTSD. A yes, a clicking of the pen, loading of a gun. Um, we had a kid who uh, came in to give notes, a uh, young Asian dude, and uh, you know that brought up some feelings. Give notes, young Asian, because of Vietnam? Yes. You think he couldn't tell the difference between Vietnam and somewhere else? He could not. He <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> he broke a kid's nose who tapped him on the shoulder to give him a note because, again, the fucking the startling out of nowhere. Right. But so he, uh, we would do this game because he was a little off his rocker. And so it was all of a sudden he'd be teaching us about business and starting a good business. What's a strong business model? And, and there's a lot of great businessmen out there. You know what? We're doing extra credit. Who, name a great businessman. And my buddy Adam French and I, picked up on the fact that you could just make up a great businessman and he would not fact check or have the wherewithal. I'm sorry, for like the past 20 seconds, I was figuring out where to put that tray. Great. So so we have Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. He broke a kid's nose yes. because of PTSD. Yes. All right. He's now so generous and so giving with his wanting of students to fulfill extra credit when it shouldn't even be given. Here's my point. Name a great businessman. I'd raise my hand and go, John Costco. And he'd go, John Costco, great businessman. 20 points, Adam Ray. Because he didn't know it was Sam Walden. Is that who it is? Yeah. The creator of Costco? No. The Costco uh, creator? Oh, the, uh, I'm thinking of Walmart. And yeah, what's the other one? Great. So we would just do that. Costco. I'm sorry, I stepped on your bit. But you dropped Roald Dahl, so I wanted to drop Sam Walden. There's no... <laughs> there we go. Oh, did you just... You just dolled my Walden? No, Walden... Walden. I Walden your doll. <laughs> And as the tune you can goes, pay a, you can, go ahead. Can do. <laughs> wait, you, you can pay a dwarf in Vegas to Walden your doll. But you can't t to make him drink. Drink. And that's the saying. I, so I, things like Mark Rite Aid, it'd go that far. Sure. Uh, you know. He bought that one? Oh, yeah, dude. Everyone knows that it wasn't a guy named Mark Rite Aid. Yeah, of course. Rite Aid is not a last name in any country. I don't know if you can say that. Edit that out. <laughs> Ben Walgreens. Can do! <laughs> ben Walgreens. Sure. Um, ben Walgreens done that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cut to a sponsor. <laughs> if you're looking for just the right flooring, you need choices. And at Marshall Carpet One, you'll certainly find them. If you don't double snap, does the sponsor not pop up? If you don't double snap, the pot sponsor does pop up. However, nobody knows if they did, if you do that. Gotcha. In the woods. If you double snap in the woods, does the sponsor edit it all out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this. Really? Yeah. Because we need new... We'd need more. We need new haikus. Oh, new. New nursery rhymes, new riddles. Yeah. You know? Well, well I I'm tired of rehashing the old ones of like, if a tree falls... On your grandma's house, does she make it out alive? That's not the same. Oh yeah, but you met your, you just you just got in the way. I know, but you know what I'm saying. A tree falls in the woods. Does anybody hear it? Yes. So we need a new one. Let's I, update. If we're updating logos and brands, Pepsi every other week is like, hey, we got vanilla. Hey, now we got cum in our soda. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, uh, you but, need to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on with Pepsi. But so, so point being, why don't we update our riddles, update our haikus? If there's someone behind me, I'm going to freak the fuck out. Ha! 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 That's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Sponsored, uh, we actually have a sponsor, and it's Hollywood Toy and Costumes. Is it really? No. Fuck, dude. Let me get you high. Yeah. Take off your... <laughs> not again i'd so love to get high what's our uh so i bought some new stuff today uh lola lola feel good cannabis one of them i got for my dad and one of them i got for you it doesn't say which is which it does however give a name description i'll let you choose would you like trance hmm. or mingle let's go mingle because that's what we're doing right that's got to be trance sounds a little too meditative for me yeah trance is the indica that's what I got for my dad. Mm, Indica with yeah, hash. That'll pass you out. Indica into bed. That's my little rule. That's how I know which one's which. The way you did that, and we'll cut back to it. Indica into bed. Looked very like an aggressive like rap lyric. Like a beat poet, yeah. Indica into bed. Where'd you put that slice of bread? Jelly jam, butter, sweet. 
I'll take the salty, make it neat. Yeah, two cubes in the whiskey drink, pour the cup, put it back in the sink. When you're done with it, did you have fun with it? Let's throw our hands up because it's about to be a runaway train bride. <laughs> I don't hide from the fears inside. Drop my heart, attack, back on the Zach Mac. Cheese, please, do you have more of these words that I keep finding, searching, breathing, loving, living, dying, trying, mm. frying, buying, mm. two pieces of soap, pieces, bars. Now you got the cars in your driveway, Safeway, grocery store, packing more. Macklemore. Macklemore. We out. <laughs> Yeah, play that back. You know, the thing about the thing about weed packaging now is like I figured out child proof containers because it was always just a pill. It was yeah. one thing to learn. But now there's all these cardboard and plastic oh. things that is they're it literal proof or is it adult dum dum proof? I think they're they're lightweight Rubik's cubes that you have to solve them. You don't open these, you solve them. Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a You don't retromand. You You brawl with them. You saw what they brought to them. <laughs> but you can't recognize that it went right through them. Unless you put both your eyes behind your mind's eye and clue them into the question of the answers that pursues them. Because if you have the time, you have the rhythm, and if you have the beat, you could sue them. With both your feet. You do what my mom does with my <laughs> rhymes. She like kind of chimes in a little too soon with a worse rhyme. It was like the first draft rhyme, by the way, and the and the bare minimum. The like it's like a kid. Duty. That, yeah, it's like a kid that knows five words. Yes, yes. He's just sitting there waiting. He's like, I can rhyme feet with meat. I can rhyme bone with trone. <laughs> Your second example wasn't even yes, something. Yes. <laughs> I mean, we're literally getting stoned, yeah. and you said trone. <laughs> I can't solve this. I legit I can't le resolve this. But the problem is I can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you rapping? No, I was just concerned. I'll tell you, the best rapping here is on this child-proof, adult-proof cardboard. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I can't get to even to the top of it. So the thing about this is, this podcast is going to be just opening it the entire time. Yikes. Will they stay with us? Push tabs and slide. Is this the first time? Oh, is this what it was? so easy. You ever see that episode of Curb when Larry helped the girl put a tampon in for the first time? Yes. Un unreal. You're reminding me of that, where it's like the way you were starting to read the directions, and I go, I wonder what, because that episode was so funny, yeah. the idea of a grown man having to assist her because she clearly is like, this is my first time. I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, he's reading the, the back of the box yes. outside the bathroom. Hilarious. And then how excited he was when she figured it out. Yes. But I yes. it makes me think, like, is that really a thing? Or do most girls should be coached at some point by their moms or sisters, right? Or is it truly like, whoop, wasn't ready for it. Like, now you I got to figure it out. You know, Adam, I've talked about this on a podcast before, but I think... It's Tampon a big... insertion? Yes. Wow. What are the odds? <laughs> I think that there's a real problem in this country when we're teaching, when, we, when we're learning how, who, what year Mount Rushmore was yeah. carved, but we don't know how to put tampons in our pussies. We live in a world where we, we are- We got flying cars, but we can't put out forest fires, is what we'll say in 45 years. <laughs> when we have flying cars, we won't. The owner of the Ha Ha Jack once said that to me, and I was trying to quote a comedy club owner. But um, Raul Dahl, Jack from the Ha Ha, who else you got up your sleeve? No wonder you're wearing a jacket. Everything would fall out otherwise. We'll be right back. I'm going to probably put in a commercial for my dick right there. So make the right choice and visit Marshall Carpet One and Rug Gallery. And we promise, with more than 50 years as a family-owned business, we've got you covered. We're back. What'd you think? I'd buy it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I've got a dick. <laughs> if, if I that's end, the commercial. If I end up putting in an actual commercial you in that spot. And, and By the I, way, insert anything and that's going to be funny. Yeah. Because even if it's like you with like a new cereal, you know. Or one that's old but wants to advertise with us. Yeah. What would be your cereal? Glassman Bopper Flakes? Uh, you can't have boppers and Bop, flakes. Bopper O's? Glassman O's. That's, I want to hear some Rickies. suggestions, but I do have already a name. But please, name some more. See if you could guess it. Oh, 
It's got to be a clever title, right? Yes. Well, I don't know if it has to be, but it happens Not to like be. Not like Ricky Flakes or... No. Ricky Flakes sounds like Rick, uh, my friend's feeling I don't ever show up to their birthday dinners. You know, he said he'd come, but it must be breakfast time because Ricky Flakes <laughs> over here doesn't show up. Also sounds like an, a guy who created a name for himself. He was an extra in the movie Blue Chips. And, and he's like, I got a whole backstory to one of the other extras. And the extra goes, oh, yeah? And he's like, my name's Ricky Flakes. He goes, I played in D2, but I transferred to the school. And the other guy goes, hey, man, can you not talk to me? <laughs> he goes, you know we don't have any lines, right? He goes, Ricky Flakes does. He goes, dude, you got to stop talking in third person. First person. Which person is it when you say your name first? <laughs> it's, not, it's never second person, is it? I know, I've always wondered what second person is. In fact... I've never even thought about it. <laughs> Welcome back to Two Contrasting Thoughts. Hey, you got new flowers. Yeah, someone had to. Too soon. <sighs> Sonic the Hedgehog. That was the first video game I ever played. It's crazy that not, not even two years later, Mortal Kombat came out. We went from trying to get a hedgehog to the top of a mountain to just bloody murder in like two years and our parents were like well as long as you're downstairs why did your parents want you downstairs <laughs> <laughs> parent thanks for bringing that up and let's spark that up immediately yeah i'm so sorry that it's you're great. here no right now. why well you know what i've been getting the same pre-rolls all the time i love it this is the first pre-roll i got not from my guy and I, it's like the first time i saw oh not everybody has a big dick i assumed everyone has a big dick almost my whole life and then i saw some of these I'm disappointed in the size of this. Oh, yeah. But it's not... You want big... Yeah, you want like little baseball bats, huh? But I don't want to shout out like... I mean, it might be great weed. Yeah, it could be. But yeah, I want I want big baseball bats. Yeah. I remember the first time I smoked a blunt that truly was... That a kid I went to high school with rolled and I was like, oh. And I made a joke like, are we going to go play softball with this after? And everybody laughed so hard because we were so high. But it wasn't that funny. Yeah, I didn't even hear it. <laughs> Because I didn't say it. Say it. Don't spray, spray it. Spray it. I want the news, not the weather. Hey, Adam, sometimes you got to let me get a little get a. I didn't get know if you were going to know that that was the rest of the thought. Oh, I didn't. You didn't know that? So you heard say it, don't spray it as a kid, right? No. The kid that like was real saliva filled. What? And when he talked, he was like Daffy Duck. And he was like, boy, did you see? I can't believe recess got extended by 15 minutes. And you were like, say it, don't spray it, man. I want the news, not the weather. Classic slam. I say it, not spray it. I've never heard that before. Are you serious? No, I'm not serious. Adam just got Glassman Bob, Glassman Bob, Glassman Bob, Glassman Bobbed. Anyways, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> love those. I love a good, anyways, there's a girl in my high school. Who did it? Cammy Threlfall. She used to do that a lot. Do you know her Instagram handle so we could put it up? Oh, man. <laughs> Send it to me if you find it later. I will. And we'll, yeah. we'll put it up. But she used to do that. It was, she was so good at it. Well-timed. Because well, somebody's saying, like, just like that, a well-timed miss joke. And then I... Anyway. Oh, yeah, dude, oh, yeah. She would crush them. Wasn't funny herself, but she always crushed with those. Will you not blow that into the into the mic? I don't smoke much anymore. <coughs> I fill my mouth with water. You smoked in a week? Because <coughs> of the pipes, you know? You've been singing a lot? Or you're saying like you have a your voiceover, but also singing. I've got a uh, comedy music album coming out December 13th. All right, we'll cut to a clip. Uh, snap your fingers and, and laugh. Why, we're coming back from it. <laughs> See? And I have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's 13 original songs, five sketches. <laughs> wow, you just gave me an idea for a movie where a guy literally has to hold on to like a mouthful of like uh, water or Gatorade or maybe blue Powerade for the whole movie. And it's almost like speed where it's like, if we go faster than 55 miles an hour, we're all going to die. So it's like if Rick spits up this blue Powerade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't say it was a good idea. <laughs> I think Keanu, though, could be in the movie, you know? Rick, 
I don't remember what we're talking about. Rick, keep that blue Powerade in your oh, mouth. Oh, right. We're talking about two different things. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't go see that movie? I would. I see everything. What's the last movie you saw? Hell, I see dead people, but I'll tell you the last movie. I've been meaning to see The Sixth Sense. Boy, I would love it. I'd love a oh, boy. oh fuck man. <laughs> I oh. wish I was a vaudeville actor, you know, because I would have just seized that moment. Well, I wish I had seven cents to buy a whore. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> didn't they buy a lot of whores back in the vaudeville days? They didn't call them whores back then. They call them our grandmas. <laughs> yeah, 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 boy. <laughs> I mean, we sound like a no, bad that. DJ machine that when you push it between, <laughs> no, but you know kid, what I mean? Anyway, bow, 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 boy, no, Rick, 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 no. Rick show. But the DJ, the DJ at the, par- at the party or wedding forgot his sound effects board. Yes, so he had not. a second mic that he had to do them into. So he'd be like, after a wedding speech, and the guy goes, so anyway, dude, that's why uh, Kyle, man, we're going to be brothers forever, dude, because we've already fucked the same chick. And the guy goes... <laughs> And he looks down and he realizes he doesn't have his board so he grabs his mic and goes, wow, 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 wow. Wait, is he pushing something or is he no, doing, he's doing it? it. <laughs> right, right. And so everyone at the wedding's like <laughs> looking at him and he's like, the moment needed something. They go, no, it didn't. We're not paying you to fill the moments. He goes, well, 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 yes, you are. <laughs> Wait, like, you can't <laughs> mix the moments with actual answers that weren't pre recorded. And then he has a sound effect that's that sentence that they just said to him, and he presses it, and it's him going, you can't mix emotions in moments. And he goes, well, tasty in medicine, Dr. Quinn. <laughs> and then they fuck. <laughs> you know, Sesame Street is celebrating 50 years. You hear of, about this? I'm going to I'm gonna be oh, your... you hear about this, Kevin? Oh, yeah. So apparently Sesame Street. Right? Oh, there's big news. Big news. Apparently Sesame Street, you know, Big Bird, Oscar, Cookie Monster. Right? So they, uh, boy, you know, I wish I had some cookies right now. So they, 50 years, Sesame Street has <laughs> been around for 50 years. Yeah, 50 years. <laughs> I heard that, Jay. Well, they have been. Remember Gordon? Yeah. Remember Gordon? The guy with the mustache. Well, you know, if that's what you want to think. So he goes. Adam, 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 <laughs> you're doing it too long. <laughs> there was Maria. There was no, Adam, you're there doing was it a deaf woman, Linda. Now Linda, she was she couldn't hear. Thank God, gets enough love again. That guy snored like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he was a loud. He, he was a loud sleeper. Good Were thing you, Linda was deaf. Keep it over the track. We got a great show. Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I had a, the an edible before. What kind? It was a pure candy. Oh, love that. Is that statue, that basketball trophy of you? Is it formed of me or is it for, is it my award? Both. It is not my award, no. But. Uh, I found somebody that had this trophy that was molded after my body, so I took it. See, I Are never even read what it said. Are you kidding me? No, it says... So you go, this isn't for me, but this is of somebody me. sculpted me, Yeah. so I have to have that. Yeah. What does it say? It says... Uh, most likely to put his leg up on the uh, ottoman. I knew while you won the trophy. <laughs> yes. Bring me a higher love. Ooh. Remember Steve Winwood? That guy. We just bailed on this thing, huh? <laughs> Wait, I got a voicemail. <laughs> Dude, is this is this postable? Hey, this is uh, Rick Glassman. I uh, saw your trophy. I got this number. And I gave it a call, and anyway. Who was that? None of your business. I believe you're supposed to say Nanya, and then I could say Nanya what? And then you say... It's, you, it was a Nanya call. Yeah, it was a Nanya call. Now, do you go with Nanya business and Nanya beeswax? Nanya business, though, makes more sense. How about mind your beeswax? None your business. Oh, what about mind your business, none your beeswax? That's what the saying is. None, oh, I thought it was none your business. No, it's mind, mind Keep your, that over the tray. Mind please. your business. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? There, actually, well, what is the beeswax? There, 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 there used to be a thing. I remember that, te- you know, like they say, um, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. There's a little saying to yeah, let you remember. Yeah, I yeah. do remember what it was. It was mind your business when the business be minding, but if the bees be buzzing, the honey behind them. For you have your own critics, your own self esteem. It's the mind your own business with the beeswax, the spleens. Machine. Oh, if you said machine, that would have been so good. That's my impression of a guy that slips up just on the last <laughs> word. <laughs> you got it. 
Whenever I make a mistake, I say it is my impression of a thing that meant to do that. I, I love, dude, wait a minute. Are you serious? I used to do this in high school where I'd do a fucking weird voice and then people would go, and, I, and if I said something that like didn't make sense, I was improvising, just whatever, just shooting the shit and trying to be funny. And if it didn't hit, I go, and there's somebody who was like, Whoa, okay, nice one. That wasn't funny. I go, you haven't seen that? I go, what? I go, dude, that's Pacino. That was in um, Jack and Jill. Oh, that's right. And they're like, I haven't seen that because I know they haven't seen that. I go, right. oh, it was a great part when right. where Pacino's like, well, maybe that's where they should have probably put You're going to think this is <laughs> fucking crazy, but I actually have a clip of that I want to cut to. Do you mind if I show it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's why I'm putting a sandwich in a locker. You're just like, doing. <laughs> you're just doing Timmy <laughs> from South Park. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't it at no. all. That was Barbara Streisand, the friend <laughs> David, <laughs> who sounds exactly like her. <laughs> I like how you got so Broadway breathy at the end of that. You're like exactly like her. <laughs> Yeah, you got me. But what I'd also like you to get is that joint over the tray at all times. What do you mind? Dad? <laughs> Let's talk about that. You know, that's interesting that you bring that up. Is there an issue with your dad and the way he wanted you to smoke a joint? What show am I on? <laughs> Seinfeld? No, he took my voice. <laughs> It's the, the same guy that took the, Barbara's, David. The, the guy, there's a guy out there right now. It's like, this guy called me the way I talk. Making millions. And Seinfeld is really at home right now. Like, we should go to the Mets game. Why does Seinfeld not sound like Seinfeld now? <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, I get it. Seinfeld doesn't sound like that. He took the voice. Yes. There's a guy out there right now like, honey, did you put the croutons on the same side of the fridge? <laughs> She goes, yes, Donald. <laughs> oh, boy. What is that, Mickey? But, fuck. What? I don't know, man. Just adjusting. Just, oh! oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that was... Hey, man. <laughs> we got to get you into superhero school. Superhero school? Superhero, superhero school. school. Superhero school. Superhero, superhero school. school. <laughs> You can't expect to cut me off and think I'm going to do it. <laughs> superhero school. Superhero school. Oh, no. You swallowed the smoke, huh? Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Adam, Adam. No, nah, man, the damage has been done. You ain't real. <laughs> It's the moment I realized that just <laughs> none of this is, oh, man. Whoa. I'm, I'm very high right now. Yeah. And a very high to you as well. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> salutations. Do people still say salutations? Yes. In what instance? If in, in, in a spelling bee, if they ask for it in a sentence? Spell, spell salutations. Um, could you uh, use it in a sentence? I could. <laughs> Would I? <laughs> it seems the comment the judge is now commenting back to the kid with a very disdain amount of disdain. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure if, if you if you would or not. Could you maybe just give me its origins? Spell the word origins first. O r i g i n s. Can we accept that? <laughs> okay, and we're back. The thing is. <laughs> Oh, I just thought of something. Interesting. Let's do it. Adam, did you realize that people say, rest in peace? Oh, man. You can't talk about death. No, that's not what I meant to say. Yeah. That was my impression. Have you seen Jack and Jill? That was something that Pacino did. He said, when they say rest in peace, I, uh, I can't do her voices. That was like Oscar the Grouch almost. Wait, how does, how does Al Pacino sound? I know I could do it. Say rest in peace. No. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that's good. Rest in peace. <laughs> yes, yes. Rest in peace. Okay, let me try that. All <laughs> right. <laughs> so you can rest <laughs> in peace. Hoo -ha. That's not very good. I thought that was really, really good. Oh, thanks. You can rest. Uh. Yeah. Foghorn Leghorn yeah. auditioning. 
<laughs> That's a tough word to say. Now this boy, ah! Oh, I can't. I, uh, dude, some, so many things just happened Is right now. Is that Foghorn Leghorn? I was trying to do Foghorn Leghorn do, uh, doing the uh, Pacino. Of a woman, Pacino monologue. Oh, yeah. Um, and all I did was hurt my throat, hurt my ears, oh, no. hear myself be super annoying, and then get out of the pocket. Yeah. Take a quick beat. I really got to clean up my act. <laughs> clean up my act. <laughs> clean what up my if- act. Jack, it's a t-shirt. <laughs> Oof. By the way, oh. I want to be in a home when I'm 90 and just be sitting there and somebody goes, hey, st- <laughs> that was the check. <laughs> and, somebody goes, and somebody goes, that's a t-shirt. <laughs> I want to be at the point. Dude, you just. <laughs> I want to be at the point of my life when I'm so happy, and I just everything, every other sense, like, I'm just like that's a t-shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're so delusional, but also so upbeat. You're just like make a shirt out of that. You know everything you hear. So someone's like, oh, I can't believe they're late again. When they're late, we're fucked. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> that would be yeah. That's ridiculous. Oh man. Oh. That was a good goof. <laughs> Sometimes when oh, you man. don't know what's happening. Okay. You <laughs> yes, sit yes, yes. back in your yes, chair yes, yes. with your feet dangling in the air. You lean back Turning into and wonder what is real. But that's when you know, that's when you know that that's why. We do. It looks like, oh man, have you ever just stared at this entire picture of buildings and wondered what's happening in that room right now? I'm serious. There's a lot of windows. There's a lot of light. There's a lot of people up doing stuff. But what are they doing? Can you... Play finish the right word. Oh, <laughs> can, you, can you also finish your friend's sentence with one word? Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week for an all new What Do You Think He Was Gonna Say <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah. I want to play this game. I'd watch that show. I want to play this game. Okay. I'll go. I'll get. I want to guess first. Great. So I'll give you a sentence and you finish it. Yeah. The last word. Just yeah. the last word. Yeah. Well, it seems so you have to recognize if it's going to be a longer sentence or a short one. Of course, there might be a comma involved. I might have to. I might have to wait a little bit longer to find out if it was a comma. Sometimes when you run outside, my friends. No, I'm just kidding. That's the wrong way. <laughs> Go ahead. Sometimes when you look in the sky, you realize that's what's down below is also the exact thing you. The sentence just didn't work. There's a few reasons. <laughs> That sentence didn't work. I could have said anything. I got a new one. Just I got give a new real one. sentence. A, one. a sentence. I- Yesterday, I went to the store. Not. <laughs> Slam one. <laughs> we pull back from the kid writing the jokes for recess book. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I ran for treasure. No, vice president in the fifth grade. And... uh my mom wrote my speech, and I went up there, and I go, I'm running for vice president, and you should vote for me, because if you do, I'll make sure that we have ice cream every day. There's kind of a couple <coughs> coughs and silent, and then I go, not. <laughs> I swear. Destroyed. I'm out. Bomb. <laughs> Oh. Did your mom write the oh. knot, or was that you calling an audible? She wrote the knot. <laughs> she instructed me that a pause and then a reversal <laughs> was going to blow the roof off the gymnasium. <laughs> and I come home crying. I held it together until I got off the bus and ran home. And she came home from work, single mom, three, four job in it. How'd the speech go? I go. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Not. <laughs> the fuck, mom? <laughs> I mean, dude, it was bad news bears. 
two. <laughs> even even newsier. And you're like, wait, so the baseball team delivers papers in a perfect world. So she did that. You know, what do you do? Didn't win. Didn't win. Annie Bernhard won. Congrats. Although in third grade, two kids were vying for the spot of treasure for the class, Caitlin Peck and Todd Giese. I know. Oh, and myself. Oh, yeah, I did this. I brought cookies. I brought in two little things of like Mike and I, Chips Ahoy, Keebler, Dwellers, <sighs> Thin Mints, all in one cookie. I brought those in. And Caitlin Peck was like, you guys should vote for me because I know what money is. I know how to use it. I, I think we should get new crayons, and I should be in charge of what the class gets its gets gets its stuff. And everyone's like, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> and then I get up there, and I start handing cookies around to everybody's table and didn't say anything for like five minutes. I just walked around and I go, these are cookies. <laughs> I'm in the fourth grade, third grade. I'm young. I'm walking around delivering cookies. I go, these cookies are great. I had some of them on the bus over to school this morning. You guys now have cookies. The same ones I had earlier, and they're so good. I want to be treasure. You want a cookie. You got the cookie. You got the treasure. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> I'm the scat man. Bada, bada, bada. I'm loving it. Is this you too said legit, in the back of the bus doing all quit. this? Back streets back. All right. <laughs> Dude, this could... Make people go, wow. It feels good. <laughs> people will watch this. <laughs> Convinced people will watch this and they will relate to this and they will go, dang, man. They gave me a true insight into what it's like to just kick it right here with us, you know? Because um, we're being very just us, you know? So, but stoned, but... Wouldn't it be sobering in the mind to understand the yeah, difference but. between God's sublime and my own situation with my own timeline? Because I put it to a lyric, to a rhythm, to a rhyme. If you understand the gimmick, then you understand the time. For I don't put it in front, unless it's a back burner, kid. Listen to what I'm saying. I Watch already what did. I did. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we were performing this right dude if we were performing and you really missed the dismount like that and instead of just continuing you into the microphone exhale oh oh fuck <laughs> just what i did oh fuck it's like no no man we both said did at least yeah yeah <laughs> we're halfway there stop stop freaking out about it <laughs> oh my god oh fuck oh fuck <laughs> just stop saying the mic just, just, just turn his mic off <laughs> It's like Eddie the confidence beforehand, you know. I put it in the clip with my own rhythm, with my own gimmick, with my without oh my god, oh no, oh no. <laughs> that's a great movie. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's so funny. I put it in with my own rhythm. Dude, that's not not not, not a song. <laughs> I couldn't follow the knots. <laughs> that, that Which lyric. reminds me of a sailor friend of mine. <laughs> I'm going to follow the knots. Wait, pervert, huh? What? <laughs> what, man? Dude, I want to have, I want to have a, a, like a screen that tracks all of the stuff that we set up that never get to. <laughs> oh, dude, if you had a digital and Then board, I want to sell that screen. Sell that screen if you dare. But, but will you do it and say, instead of dare, say, <clears throat> in, uh, and then say uh, dance instead? If you dance. Where's the puppet? I, I don't want him out here right now. That is what we call someone in need of an attitude <laughs> adjustment. <laughs> um, so in I, tonight's episode of <laughs> Attitude Adjustment, Rick finds out what happens when people want you to feel differently than what you're feeling. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, sorry, I was outside uh, just washing my car. Uh, how you guys doing? Was he sorry that he was outside? Or was he fine being inside and late? It's not every day he showed up around these parts. 
Hey, mom, let me call you back. I'm on the way to the place. Uh, I could probably go in early, but I'm going to make everyone feel real bad and uh, pretend like I was washing my car for a while. Okay. Anyway, bye. Love you. What's funny about that is he doesn't have a car, but he's seen one in real time. Whoa. That's the moment he knew. These better go somewhere. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. I couldn't even put this as bonus content. Yeah, you can, man. No, oh. I can't. <laughs> Stan. <Man>. And that's how <laughs> And that's how the greatest slash worst rhyme duo of all time was invented. I like fake infomercials, you know? I like real ones. Could we do something together with that? I don't know, maybe mix a real one with a fake one and turn it into a comedy video. Video, 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 video. Make that my new email alert. <sighs> yeah, fuck. 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 Fuck, man. That's a powerful moment. The whole sigh into a fuck. Being frustrated enough to go like, I got control. I'm going to breathe in, breathe out. But at the end of that, I'm going to fucking lose it, right? I'm cool. I'm cool. Then at the end of it, you go, you know what? Fuck. So then put that together. Fuck. <laughs> Anything different, Anything different, guys? We're set. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here for the film. So, no, nah, well, I'm good with one. I'm good with one too. I'm good with one too. I'm good with one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, it's on the 4th of July. <laughs> Real life. All right. You can put in a whole other voice there if you want. I think I will cut that already. And put it to the front <laughs> of the podcast for what we call the cold open. Yeah, this, I want this to be the cold open, and and then they get to it. And it's kind of like in Memento when you <clears throat> finally uh, make out with a girl that you went to the movies with eight years later. I want to go. I want to cut to someone asking my mom, "Why did Ricky and his friend Adam move to L.A.?" And then cut back to, bow, 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 bow. Yeah, my my son Adam. He's doing all these car commercials, and he's did a movie with Jenny McCarthy, Jenny McCarthy, Melissa McCarthy. What's the difference? They both have the same tits. Can I say that? Can I say that? Ah. Can I say that? I, I don't know if I can say that. I, Adam, I'm not sure if I need to edit that out. Can I talk about Melissa hey, McCarthy man. and Jenny McCarthy's tits? Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. That is sounds that very saying, Jewish. Hey, is that guy saying hey, man or hey, man? Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey man. Excuse me, sir. Man. I keep turning around. Because I think you're saying amen. No, I'm saying amen to myself. Yes, I'm just praying. Well, your amen sounds a lot like amen, so I'm turning around. So I understand. I want you to know it's kind of the same thing, because what I was praying for was you to take a walk. <laughs> okay? Hey, man. Okay? <laughs> no, I was praying to myself. Fuck off. I have you know. That's it. Push it on me and play Jewish music. I have you know. Or Chinese music for that case. Jesus. I have you know. And then cut to me with a uh, <laughs> and and then put the bang da, 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 ba, da, da, ba, da, ba. But only seven seconds. Everyone has a rule of how long they can play music before they have to pay for it. It's all fake. How much do you think the home improvement theme song is? I know. I looked it up. Not as much as you'd think. Let me guess. Oh. No, you know what? I already know what it is. 200k oh my god dude is it really yeah i tried to put into a sketch but it was a little over budget i had a hundred thousand dollars to make this little video it was uh that's a, too much you didn't let me finish for us to put on youtube who gave it to you the money the money guy Ooh. <laughs> where do you get your money the money guy <laughs> i wonder if we get the same money guy adam 
Sorry, it's ATM. I call him Adam. Oh, yeah, because my guy's name is Adam. Adam. <laughs> Fuck, dude. In 30 years when I'm a dad, that joke's going to crush. That's going to be 10 years before <clears throat> you want to make up T-shirts <clears throat> for everything, but 10 years <clears throat> also before the flying car. Hopefully. You know, I went to school with a rule ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I also went to Boreas with an orange Julius. <laughs> Julius. <laughs> I also went to Burius with a rules Julius. I, a rules Julius. <laughs> a rules is, Julius. Isn't that when you bend a girl over and, and <laughs> when you eat her out for breakfast? <laughs> Can I say that? Can I say that? I wasn't talking about anyone uh, in particular. A rules Julius? Yeah, it's like an orange juice vagina puss. Yeah. You OJ, know what? Uh, VP. Uh, how's your omelet? <laughs> <laughs> right. If 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 uh, morning t-shirt. if nineties uh, morning television show <clears throat> commercials <clears throat> were for wait, what was just happening? I'm really cu- I want to read Rules this. Julius. Right. Okay. So if there were a commercial tonight's performance of Rules Julius will be played by Raul Julia. Julia. Right. Julia Gulia. No. I Raul Julia. Dude, I, I I need this to be edited right now so I could watch it on the big screen. Oh, later <laughs> wow yeah you will you'll have to just to make edits and stuff do you know car is the only word that rack spells backwards and wow is the only word that if you put it upside down it spells mom but that doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to implement that into real life so i have an idea i'm all ears okay what if we instead of spent all of our time and energy Go trying on. to get girls phone numbers and smoke the biggest stogies and drink the crispest butts Go on. what if instead we spent that time and actually tried to create some type of a program <clears throat> yep. that could allow us to see into the future long enough to realize that if these bitches Jesus. could get their heads out of their asses for even eight seconds i wouldn't be over here gabagool with a buddy of mine in the back seat and another thing how often do you drive down the street, you look to your left, you see a marketplace, you look to your right, you see a doctor's office, but you look straight down and there's another guy in the same call looking at you and you think to yourself, is this the time of the day? <laughs> <laughs> but you realize something. There is no time of day. It's moments in life. It's raining. Was that a deaf guy? <laughs> It was him yelling to the guy in a car far away. But so why did you... I was trying to make his voice sound faint and in the background. Oh. Like, away from the mic. Okay. But it wasn't more... It wasn't as much <laughs> away from a mic as it was... <laughs> it sounded a little like... Like, you know on the keyboard, that no. thing that you could move up and down when you're playing? It goes... And it's like, why that are you... What is, is that thing true. for? But do you know the thing I'm talking about? Yeah. That's kind of like... How you guys doing? How you, how you, you, there was that thing that oh, you the did. Voice changer. I bought. Did you ever buy TBC. the? Uh, did you buy the Kevin McAllister Home Alone voice changer? Talk boy. <sighs> so cool. I want like a room with a key. Yeah. I'm gonna make you no good, filthy up, and think you're no good at <laughs> Home Alone. Yeah. Remember? Get you no good, stinking, lousy keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. Before I pump your guts full of lead. Which, incidentally, is what the pencil told the eraser that he fucked. <laughs> Please tell me you just made that up. Uh huh. It's like what just happened was a cup spilled and I caught it, and I'm even like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. Dude, that was a great joke. Thank you. You should see my but- buddy. Unrelated, jacked, John DeWalt. He's put, yeah, he's getting strong. Yeah, what, what's he building all the muscles for? Do you want another truth, or do you want a long, exaggerated, funny answer? Give me the so, second. It was nineteen twenty nine. Give me the first. <laughs> he loves. He's just addicted. <laughs> to, yeah. You know what he's addicted to? The same thing that we'd all be addicted to if we gave ourselves even two weeks to retrain our brains, and that is achievements. To succeed inherently not only raises your oxytocin, your self-worth, and your dopamine, it also shortens your telomeres and makes you sleep longer and age slower. If we start to become proud of ourselves, we will love ourselves. Do we wait to do something we're proud of, or do we work our ass off to literally earn it? Not for the achievements, not for the trophies, but for you, for your self-worth, for your identity. And hell, maybe food will taste better, sex will feel a little bit stronger. It's not going to hurt to try. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being corny. No, I wholeheartedly believe with all that. Serious. I'm serious. That all made great sense. I'm serious, man. (laughs) 
More serious than a heart attack, it sparks a work of art attack. An art choke could choke a brother, but it can't put him <laughs> up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, we're signing you to a 17 album deal. That line was <laughs> perfect. You can art choke choke a brother. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can. It's the art of the choke, man. You can art choke a brother. Wow. But you can't wake awake. No. You can't wake a woke a you, mother. You can teach the art of choke when I art choke a brother. But it ain't but for I me to decide. Tell. It's for you to pick your druthers. Men in black, serious as a heart attack. Put nine to his cheek. Memory goes flash. Boom, boom in the butt can. <laughs> pow, pow in the stand glands. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. And you know what? <laughs> A mahak mamul to you. And Bashuv. Ray Hagafen. Ray Hagafen. <laughs> you went to school with a Ray Hagafen. Where is Ray Hagafen? <laughs> See, having lunch with Elijah, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> He's the same like the Seinfeld voice. He's like, somebody stole my name, put it in a Jewish prayer. <laughs> you know, every time What's I'll... Ray talking about? Uh, you know, you know how you know how Hagafen is. How is he? Dude, he's always like, he's, you know, all these uh, holidays keep fucking saying my name. Yeah. That's actually. What about you, Baruch? You know, that's where um, <clears throat> Destiny's Child actually got its origins for the song "Say My Name," which was from the prayer of Bri Hagafen. <laughs> yeah. And the problem was, it's a cool name, Bri Hagafen. What if your name is Bri Hagafen? B R I E H A Big G A F E N. Bri Hagafen. You know, uh, would you trust her? Would you trust her with your wallet? Would you trust her with like a spinny sign on the corner of like a street? It's busy where you're trying to attract business to like a new, a right, new I know salad saying. joint. You right. know? Or like or some type of wireless store. Yeah. Or uh is she Why don't you just you say know, one through three? Like a gangster. <laughs> what do you mean? Like a mobster. But the first two were would I trust her with something, and the third oh. one was just a character trait. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you yeah. remember what you're doing? Bri <laughs> <laughs> Hagafen. Yeah. I I I'll tell you this. I've I've She's, I I've been in I like met have met girls and have had like you know, romantic relationships with them over a, a short period of time yeah. where we're not dating, but, you know, you know them. I still put my wallet in the safe before they come over. And I ain't got anything in the wallet. To keep safe. Oh, man. This has been great. But as you can hear, <laughs> it feels like I can't swallow. <laughs> you want a glass of water? So. I did something that a lot of women in my life for some reason do. Maybe it's because they're optimistic. But I filled it up half full. I didn't want to wait for it to come all the way up. I love this. Oh. Wow. That hit the spot. Now it's Al Pacino. Oh. That hit the spot. <laughs> That's really good. Ice cold water. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Nice and cold down my throat. Like a slip and slide. <laughs> Two cameras. Which one to look to? I figured out. Um, Adam. Uh Hello. Let's plug that weed for sure. It was delicious. So um there's this, there's this uh, uh, all organic hemp weed. This is Prove like, it. <laughs> <laughs> this is CBD only. Oh, I love that. Have you ever smoked CBD only weed? I never have. Oh. I eat CBD edibles. Well, we get it. You have a, we get it. You get me. Did you do a second take? Like I was going to take out the first one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. No, I just stumbled. You ever stumbled and get up, fall and get up back on yourself? <laughs> Hi. I'm Adam Ray. If you want to get picked up after you get knocked down again, join my six-week seminar. Or is it six days? <laughs> We're still trying to figure it out, but it'll be on the website. Either way, you're getting a lot of time to feel the way you should feel. So, have you been in, in an accident? Do you <laughs> do you get choked up at sweet, at sweet, sappy movies? Do you ever think to yourself, I probably could have been a porn star, but what genre? Well, then my six-week course, six-day course. 
Dude, your bits are so long. <laughs> Cut that out, man. Yeah. Cut that out. Yeah, this podcast, if people are going to enjoy it, is going to be 12 minutes. <laughs> I disagree, but... don't. Did, what did you call me? It's your show. I disagree, but, man. <laughs> I'm not a butt man. <laughs> You're a butt man. <laughs> Do you remember when people were so homophobic in the 90s that whenever somebody said anything to you, you would have to yell it back to them? Yeah, like what? Uh, dude, did you just touch Kevin's ankle with your fucking hand? No. You you touched his fucking ankle with your fucking No, what toe. the fuck are you talking about? No, I didn't. Oh, dude, I just saw you do that. No, I didn't. Oh, you just... You were borrowing his fucking rollerblades and you touched his fucking ankle. Dude, I don't touch ankles, man. I, my, I, I, every time I grab a rollerblade, I tuck my hands in. All right, I thought I saw you touch the ankle. You promised you didn't touch the ankle? Yeah, no, I promise. All right, you're cool. Yeah. All right. All right. I touched that ankle. All right, as long as it's cool. I can't really hear it. It's cool, right man. Now. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But now, dude, now, if, if the sponsor. Thank you. Yes. Get me on track. Apple's. Okay. All right. So, oh, I forgot I want to do this with you. I wanted to try to do a whole bunch of ads with you and okay. see if I could sell them. Correct. So, here's one for uh, the CBD only weed company. Okay. Uh, Apple Strudel, mm -hmm. Creme Brulee, Lemon Milk. Adam, if I were to say those three things to you with a blindfold on, what would you think I was advertising? You sell me CBD weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> Apple strudel, creme brulee, hey. lemon milk. Oh, my. <laughs> what, 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 would you, what is your druthers? I can't do this. All, I have to do all, a real commercial. All of them. All of them. I want to do that again. All of them. No. I want to do that again. No, all of them. Yeah, these come in all sorts of shapes and flavors. I can't, I, listen, you know, I have a scripted thing that I was going to do, and I was going to sell you on the um, fact that it's all organic packaging, there's no pesticides, it's nitrate sealed to the oxygen, can't take it out so it doesn't degrade. The fact that it is, it is legal in all 50 states, wow. it is proven to help relax the body, and you could get it in, 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 in bud that smells exactly like flour. I would say, what hemp are you smoking? The answer is simple. Hempzotics. Now, the truth is, cha -ching. <laughs> the truth is, <laughs> I love CBD. Put but it in a ching sound. I will. <laughs> I love CBD, but I don't smoke <clears throat> much anymore. I only want it in edibles. But I did want to try it because apparently when you smoke it, wow, it could help you. You toke it. And when you toke it, you own it. And when you own it, you groan it. And that's what's keeping it down. <laughs> When you choke it, you toke it, you hone it, you own it, because at the end of the day, that's what's <laughs> keeping it down. I kind of made it my own, but I took a lot of parts oh, from it. Holy shit. That was fucking good, dude. That was the beginning of a musical or an episode of Too Quick, Too Hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, make that somebody. Yeah. You know, I'm doing this. I'm like... And then I'm going to be looking at my computer later, and I got me yelling, hey, fucking do this thing. It's like, ah, I don't want to. It's like making plans for, with someone for next week, and when next week comes, you're like, why did I say I would do that? Yikes. So, you, that was a great ad for these. Um, so, I do want to try it, though, and I want to know if you would, because uh, what CBD does for me is it relaxes me, but I normally don't do it when I've also smoked THC, and I have heard that sometimes if you get a little too high, CBD could bring that high down. Let's try it. it. All right. So, we're both pretty high. You can say that again. I want to smoke this and see if my high goes less. There's no way this stuff's going to sober me up. Spark it up. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to bounce. Yeah, dude. I'm high. Yeah, man. I'm... What do you think? Really great. Um, would you say it has a smooth finish? A nutty aftertaste? Or the other way around? It really does. Yeah. It's got a smooth nutty. And they <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> and, uh, that's that's such a stand up bit, you know. What? When when whenever somebody accidentally says something, you're like, uh, I don't know why I said that. Uh, I must have slipped out. I'm taping my HBO special tonight. That's so choice. Are you so choice or pro choice? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm probably not going to cut it out. I'm probably just going to post this. No one's watching it past <laughs> hour four. <laughs> this thing. I disagree. Um, 
I went to school to disagree. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. That's my kids you're talking about. Because <laughs> actors that get away with that. Mm-hmm. So you just, just got to be so easy. You think it's easy being one day? You don't even know what's going on right there. But that's why you feel like that. You can work any place you want to work if you got the time. Time? What do you know about time? I know that if I was running out of one thing, it wouldn't be time. You see, I got all the time in the goddamn world. The thing I don't have is patience. The patience for you, the patience for your voice, and the patience for the disrespect that you come here and think that you could buy my wine cellar with a fucking threat. Hi. Then I got my thought. I'm sorry, are you tongue tied? Are you tongue tied? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Can't get it out. <clears throat> All right, Adam. So fun, dude. I'm really glad we did this. We need to have. I a- laughed a lot, dude. Laughed a lot. That's the whole point of this. Could I have a moment of sincerity with some spoken word for a moment? Yeah. And this is something that I have that has been on my mind. And please, if you have any thoughts, you could speak up. But I would like just to have. I guess if I were to ask for anything, it would just be your attention for a moment. I met you ten years ago. Before my flow, before I thought it could be ever so sweet. Because I've been challenged and beat. I've been tickled on my feet. But I've never pounded the pavement when I'm walking on the street, much less the situations for the top, the, the elite, where I could call you a friend, where I could call on you, friend, for a laugh for a little piece of advice. Maybe I need a couple of bucks. Maybe I just need somebody to give a fuck. And the situation I have with you is complicated because it's the most simple thing in my life, but I can't get my mind to stop hating. The fact that I can't see this elsewhere. It's like you've ruined friendship for me because a friendship should be something a friendship means to me, but implied backwards, it's not for me to see. The moment in time has advanced on me. So I look back and I appreciate all those in my life, but it wasn't until I met you that I realized the strife, that the fact that I couldn't even hold up a knife to stab my friends back, yet it happened to me twice. I don't know. Maybe I'm a hopeless romantic. (laughs) Maybe I'm hopeless semantically investing my time, my real estate, my love into a person that to me is, I mean, literally sublime. If I were you and I'm not, I would do what I can't, which is look in the mirror and know what I ain't. (laughs) (laughs) I ain't no quitter. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no tough man, but I ain't no snitch. I'm a situation that I find myself in. I'm the environment, son. But one thing's for sure, we have a lot of good time, fun. God. We have a good lot of fun. We have the times of our lives. If it just came down to one. We'd find each other, each other for life, yeah. life, 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 for the love of life. <laughs> love of life. This podcast was brought to you by Hemsonic Swede. Lemon milk, apple strudel, creme brulee. Creme brulee, I just met her. <laughs> Should I smoke this? The only question I have... Which, it's which one? one. <laughs> Jay, yeah. uh, oh, Christopher Walken. Yeah. Just, one. <laughs> which one? Uh, uh, which one? <laughs> You're really good at that stuff. I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm not. I feel like I, I never do a Christopher Walken, ever. I'm just mimicking other what I what I hear. Yeah. You know? I don't know how he sounds. Oh, it's too bad. It's not that big of a deal. What? What's that? What was that? (laughs) 
Teach me how to do some voices. Teach me how to do some voices. Yeah, like Chris that. Walken. Yeah. Who? Who? Are you? Are you? Why? Why? Do you talk like that? Do you talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Gonzo from uh, The Muppets. Okay. Oh, boy, this place is a... This place is a lot cleaner than I thought it was going to be. Oh, boy. Uh, this place is a lot cleaner than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right. Here's uh That one wasn't too hard. Here's the... Um... <laughs> Glass bloopers. All right. Here's Tay Leone. Is that the girl from Wayne's World? That, no, that's, that's Tia Carrere. <laughs> who's Tay Leone? <laughs> from Family Man, from... Uh... Ghost Town. <laughs> we should wrap it up, dude. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe I'll know if I hear her. I'm teaching you Tay Leone impressions. Maybe I'll know if it's I hear her. It's about it. that time. Let me hear it. I might know who it is while I look it up. Now, how about this? How about this? Barbara Walters. How do you spell Tay? Well, I'm Bob Walters. What's the name? Next what? on 2020, tuna fish. Is it the best fish? We'll find out tonight when we interview a turkey. Right. And a clam about who they <laughs> like better. <laughs> Say it one more time. It's Barbara Walters. <laughs> no, 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 no. And tonight no. on 2020, she crushed it, dude. Dude, Barbara Walters low-key is a gangster. Oh, you know when people do memes I like that? Think, they, say, yeah. they say low-key. Low-key. And, they, and it's like, well, you actually posted that to a million people. Yeah. You know low-key, T.I., is actually fucking a family man. Yeah. And down low, keep it down low, by the way. Like, I don't think. <laughs> don't know what you're saying. <laughs> this has been a blast, dude. Yeah. You know the difference between a blast dude and a blast <laughs> chick? Oh, God. <laughs> a blast dude can't sit on my face. <laughs> you know? Chiching, do it. <laughs> no, man, I'm just playing around. It was really cool, man. It was nice to meet you. I have to take a Polaroid picture of you. Yeah, cool. You look so hot. Scoop, <laughs> blue. <Blabbity blue. laughs> Scoop D. Oh, yeah. Skittle, <laughs> 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 <laughs>